Hello everybody and welcome to the Spitfire Show issues 7 and 8 tonight. Uh, I'll thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, I have some guests which are just going to come in in a second. I'd just like to thank you for tuning in and I'm really nervous about the build tonight. I don't know why but um, I'm sure my host will, uh, will keep me calm. So I'll bring on my first host when my mouse goes down there and this is Dave Hello, good evening everybody and uh, thanks for joining Mark tonight and I'm pretty sure Mark he'll be as right as nine punch you really will. Tonight's show, um, tonight's show is dedicated uh, to the memory of Vera Lynn. Uh, Vera Lynn sadly lost her life um, um, to old age uh, last week at Grand old age of 103. So uh, it should be sadly, sadly missed. Uh, so tonight's show is dedicated to Vera Lynn. Okay, and my next host is Billy. And thank you, Dave, for saying all that. <laughs> okay, and my next host. Yorkshire Crafter. Hello everyone and I hope you enjoy tonight's show and be sure to give Mark a big thumbs up. Okay and my last guest, sorry Dave Mill. <laughs> <laughs> Evening everybody, um, hope we'll have a good show tonight. Um, it's very sad about we running. I'm glad yeah. Yeah, very sad. So, how are we all? Oh, fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. Yeah. yeah. We had a yeah. good weekend so yeah. far. Oh yes, brilliant weekend. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, it's been great. Have a weekend off. And I will say to every father out there, Happy Father's Day. Yeah, Happy um, Father's have... Day to you all. Yeah, I hope you all had a fab day and got what you wanted and hopefully that's some peace from the children, but that's just my perspective. Yeah, and I'd like to also say Happy Father's Day to all the single mothers out there because the single mothers out there have to be mum and dad as well, so Happy Father's Day to them. Right, okay. Uh, would you like to go through the comments, Julie? I sure will. So first up, when it wants, it did. It did. It did. No, there it we are. Want to. it's been really, really good tonight. So sorry about that. So we've got Robert Milne. Hi all. Hi Robert. Hi Robert. Next Hi, Robert. we have Dave Sir. Hello everyone. Hope you're all okay. <laughs> then we have P40 F20. Hi, all. Hi, P40 F20. F20. Hi, P40 F20. We have Warren Mill. Hi, all. Hello, Warren. Hi, Warren. We have Stephen Owen. Hi, everyone. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. And we have Chris Davies. Hi, all. Hi, Chris. And Hi, Chris. That's chat. Fantastic. Lovely. Right. So I think it's time to start. So I need to get on my You'll other camera. On okay. Yep. Well, um, tonight, tonight's build then is uh, build the model of the Spitfire Mark 1A. It's issue number seven. <laughs> Right, it looks like I've been on a on a summer summer holiday, but I haven't. Okay. So I'm not that tanned. Oh, you'll be right. It'll be the last, <laughs> won't it? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so it's the engine supercharger and details. So, uh, are you ready for a parts check, then, Mark? Yeah, I am. Okay. That's uh, 7 1, the supercharger cover. 
which uh, is this part here. It feels metal. It is metal. Just got to get the orientation right because the next one looks similar. Yeah. So okay. seven two is the supercharger cover. Yeah, again, that's metal. Oh, very good. Yeah. And then we've got 7.3, which is the back of Supercharger. Which is that. And that is metal as well. Oh. And then we've got 7.4, the tank tubing. Yeah. Now, these are these two bits in here, but I'm going to leave them in here so they're in a safe place. Yeah. Okay. 7.5 is the Supercharger detail. Which is either one of these. Yeah, like a, a bent pipe. Yeah. Okay. And 7.6 is a supercharger detail. Yeah, which is that. Yeah. And 7.7, seven, which is the last part, is the supercharger detail as well. Yeah, which is that part there. Which is totally different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's okay. That's plastic. Yeah. Uh, the tip is in the brown there at the bottom. It's uh, you may find that some places are tight to fit, and you need uh, to clear paint from the pegs or holes. Fine sandpaper or fine fine round file are recommended. Right. Okay, I've got that. Okay. So step one. And it's nice to see that you have a a mat down so you don't scratch the parts. What what is that, Mark? This is a microfiber cloth that I got from Pound Stretcher. Um, it's nice color as well, so the parts can be seen on it. But it's uh, yeah, it's not going to damage the parts or anything. So yeah, well, you know what I'm going to go and look for now, don't you? Nice, me too. One of them. One of them. <laughs> I think there was 69p for three. 69p for three at pound stretcher. Yeah. Oh, jolly good. Jolly good. Right. right. So yeah. step one then. Second. Sorry, camera's not focusing. There we go. There we go. Right. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> take the two supercharger covers, seven one and seven two. Mm -hmm. Identify the three pegs in part seven two. And corresponding sockets on seven one. Apply a little super glue to the three pegs and fix them parts together, ensuring that the supercharger openings circled are aligned. Right. Right. So I'm going to run a little test here because some people use a pin vise for super glue, some people use a cocktail stick for super glue. Uh -huh. so, I'm going to try the old method of the cocktail stick. That's what I use. Okay, I've tried that one. Let's try the pin vice method. <coughs> I think I prefer the cocktail stick, and the reason for that is I can get more super glue on the cocktail stick than I can do on a pin vice. I think right. I think you're fine with a pin vice though, because the pin's metal, it runs the glue runs off easier. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the old method of a cocktail stick. Yeah, jolly good. Mm. So yeah, that's step one done. Step one, okay. And step on two again. Oh, yeah, I was on it. Yeah, it keeps them going out of focus. Yeah. It's come. No. It came back and then it went again. But it automatic focus is a pain sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> right, hang on a minute. Let Have me you see. got a white. Oh, it's gone there. All oh, right, it's gone. Right. Now. right. Oh, that's gone. Yeah. I just don't want to scratch these metal parts, that's all. Yeah. So, step two is. Take the back of the supercharger, 7-3, and identify the three pegs which it fits into the corresponding holes in part 7-2. Note the orientation of part 7-3. 
See also right. Check the fit and clear excess paint if necessary. Apply a little super glue to the three pegs and fix the parts together. The image on the right shows the parts connected correctly. Right, that's definitely the right way. So let's get some super glue. And I've just noticed your image that should be on the right is actually lower on the screen, <laughs> isn't it? My image on the what, sorry? On the right. On, on the page I've got here, the image yeah. is on the right. The ah. finished image, once you've glued it. But your finished image, once you've glued it, is below. That'll be uh, the magic of Adrian's editing. Yeah. To make life easier. Yeah. Yes, that is. Right, I'm just going to hold that together for a second. So it's Adrian's fault then. Right, okay, done that. <clears throat> okay. So step three is uh, take the pipe shaped supercharger details 75 and 76. Check how the parts fit together. Then apply a little adhesive to the pegs on part 75 and fix the parts. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Just making sure I've got ample glue in there to hold these bits together. Yeah. Right, just give that a few seconds. Yeah, I would give it a few seconds just to set. Okay, that's set. Okay. Step four. One at a time, take the tu tank tubes, pieces, seven, four. Check the fit in the sockets of the base section, seven, seven. Apply a little super glue to the peg on the bottom of the first part 74 and fix in place if you you will need to hold the tubing in place while the glue dries yeah repeat uh, to fix the second piece of tubing 74 in place the image on the right shows the tubes fitted uh, at the correct angle and the image is below on screen right yeah the uh, the look Remember the old rabbit ears for the televisions? Yeah, I do. They, they remind me of that. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to hold that in a second. I mean, the glue I use does set pretty quickly, but I just don't want to make any mistakes. And that's yeah. good, so I'll just do the other side. Yeah, they do. They look like rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of a wartime song, does that? Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. <laughs> Be the farmer, gets you with his gun, gun, gun. Right, yeah, I've done that there in place. <laughs> right, okay. Step five? Yeah. Okay. Step five is two things. On the underside of part 77, fit into the corresponding sockets on the top of the back of the supercharger 73. Note one of the side of part 77 has angled rather than rounded size circles and these and inset. These should face outwards when the part is attached. When you are happy with the fit, apply a little super glue to the pegs on part 77 and fix in place. Yeah, I can see that actually. Yeah. 
it's always good to read the instructions because you'd look at that and think, oh, it's it's exactly the same. So, but um, yeah, but it isn't, is it? It's. Um, yeah. Oh, no, not some of the other weird you have where you, you might get done for racism. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Another word for the Germans and another word for the British soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's in place. Excellent. Wow. I'll be careful of them. Yeah. <laughs> So right. step six yep. step six is that uh, take the pipe detail seven five seven six and the supercharger assembly from the previous step note that one of the end of pipe has two tabs check the fit of the tabs in the opening in the supercharger and remove excess paint if necessary when you are happy with the fit, apply a little super glue to the tabs on part 75, 76, and fix in place. Right, so I think I am going to have to take something out of that because it is a little bit, it's, it's quite a tight fit. Yeah. Yeah, Just a small file. Right, let me check the fit now. Oh, that fits lovely now. Excellent. Just come apart, so let me just put glue that back together. These cloths are brilliant, they really yeah. are. Right, so let me get some super glue on this. I can see they're going to be very, very good for root master screws. Uh, yeah. You're not, you're not going to lose them on there. Apart from me, that is, of course, with Christine's bus. With them being uh, yellow screws for the top. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. I wanted to go in earlier. There we go. I'm just going to hold that. Okay. While you're holding that, I will say that uh, that is the completed work. Uh, the body of the supercharger has uh, been assembled. Uh, further details will be added in the future issues. Right. Hopefully in issue eight. Okay. So that's the completed work. And there we go. Excellent. Put this on another cloth that I've got down there so I don't scratch it. Well done. And it's uh, over to you, Dave. Right. There we are. Right. I just need to go and get a can of pop and then I'll come back and you're finished. That's happening again. I can't. Come on. Stop playing silly buggers. Never done this before. Come on. No, why isn't it coming back? I just crack all my property with all my camera out. Oh, you're all right, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. <sighs> oh, don't do that to me. Shall we have the chat brought up to date before? Yes, please. There's just one comment from Chris Davies. Uh, hope all is good with everyone. 
Yeah, we're all right, Chris. Right, I'm ready, Dave. Okay. We're now going to do details for the supercharger. Whew, okay. Right. Part 8 1 Supercharger backing. Which is that, and I believe that's metal. And you've got E202, which is a supercharge yeah. backing as well. Which is that, and that again is metal. Um, E3 is. Base of backing, yeah, again, metal. Now we're going to some detail pieces 804 supercharged detail A to D, right? Which will be the black ones, yeah, got them, but they're labeled on here one, two, three, four. Yeah, <laughs> this, is what we've got. this is what you're gonna to have to be careful of on this, yeah, I think. E5, supercharged deep detail, which will be the silver ones, E, E, E. Which is that? Yeah. E6, supercharged paint detail. Which is this very, very, very tiny piece. Yes, and E7, supercharged hose detail. Which is that, and that again is a very tiny piece. Right, don't want Right, okay, let's do this. Right, well, the tip is take care when moving small parts from the frame. Make sure you cut through the links and not the parts in itself. Right. You find sandpaper to remove any rough edges after cutting. Right, okay. Okay. Are you ready for part one? Yeah, I am. Take part 801 and 802. Identify the two pegs on 801 and corresponding sockets on 802. When you are happy with the fit, apply a little super glue to the two pegs and fit port, fix parts together. Right. Pour a bit more glue out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, I'll just hold that for a second. I'm unhappy with that. Okay. Take port. 803 and check out the shaped lower edge of the assembly 801 802 fits in the <laughs> shaped rim of the port 803. Apply a little glue inside the rim of port 803 and fix the parts together. Yeah, I definitely much prefer the cocktail stick method. I'll use the cocktail stick too. Yeah. I suppose everybody's different. Well, it depends how big the hole is, though, couldn't it be? Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, take the supercharge assembly from issue seven. Okay. Three pins on port A202 fit into the corresponding socket in port 702. Are you happy with the fit? Apply a little super glue to the pegs and fit port together. Right, so that's going to go like that. Lot a lot of detail, I must admit. I think uh, Harshet never failed to deliver on the detail. Didn't fail to deliver on what I'll write, you know. All right, are you ready for the next? Okay. Hang on two seconds, I've just got to put this part on. That's the Roger. No. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm, I'm looking at the magazine, not watching the screen, that's why. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. 
Could parts A and B from the frame 804, which that is your yeah, black frame. Right, A and B. Let's have a look. A is this bit here, B is that bit. So it's parts one and two. Taking care to separate them from the frame at the right point so that the pieces look as shown. We're just going to come off like that. There we go. Right, yeah, they are very tiny pieces. Okay, yeah. Smooth so the edges were very, very same pitch, sad here to remove any roughness where they were cut from the frame. Okay. Don't think I need to. All right. Um, I will give you a where you can identify the pegs on part B and the sockets on part E. Apply a little super glue to the pegs and fix the parts together. Okay. I'm just going to test fit this. I know it's probably hard to see this on camera, guys. Right. Yeah. I can see how that goes now. bit of glue in the pictures they look absolutely massive they do do they? <laughs> yes yeah right yeah that's done Okay, we're now going to go to your next screw. You're still my screw. Cut parts D e and F from E05. E and F is these two. Smooth any roughness and check how the parts fit together. Two pegs on part F. Fit into a socket on part E. Remove any excess paint from the sockets to get a better fit if necessary. I a super glue to each peg and fix the part together. Right, okay, so it's got it down like that, and that goes over there like that. Right, just hold that for a couple of seconds. Right, okay, yeah. Right, six. Cut part G from the frame 805. It's not really G, you need a silver one, is it? Yeah. Yep. Invest in some decent sprue cutters. Right. The raised area of part E fits into, the re into a recess in part G, red arrow. Right, so it's this little notch here. Okay. Yeah. Hold in that fits into the slot in port E, blue arrow. Right. Yeah. When you're happy with the fit, apply a little super glue and fix in place. Mm. Hope you've got your magnifying glasses because you're going to need them for the next part. Not yet, but they're on ready on standby. Uh, These are very small. Yeah, um, I've, I, every build I do, I go through the instructions about three times before I record or like this do a live. And I looked at these earlier, I'm thinking, how the heck do you even get them off the sprue? <laughs> right, yeah, go for it. Okay, part seven. Cut the two board shape parts I from frame eight or five. Check to fit in the so check the foot in the sockets on each side of the assembly. A and F. You may need to use tweezers when you are happy with the fit. Apply a little super glue and fix both in place. Right, I'll give you a few minutes with that one. <laughs> I'm going to need a pint after this one. <laughs> I 
Right, that's the first one off. Now to just tidy that one up slightly. Right, that's the second one off. The good thing about working on this mat is I can actually see yeah. what I'm doing. We've been working on a green mat. I took mine off one at a time so it didn't flat, so I didn't lose yeah. one. Right, that's the first one trimmed up nicely, and then I just need to trim up this second one. Right, that's the second one. Okay. Oh, now it's time to sweat. Right, got my tweezers. <coughs> Tell you what, these tweezers are probably the best thing that I got for Christmas off off uh, Julie that I've used. Right, here we go. First one. And that one's in. Second one. Gosh, Adrian, now I know how you felt like with the uh, things on the F40. Yes. Right there in place. Oh, hey. can we just catch up on chat for, for a couple of seconds? Good idea. Yep, so we've got Chris Davies first when it comes up. That's good, guys. I'm in my other bedroom using my DJ system, listening to music and watching you on my phone on YouTube. But Chris Davies again. Also, you doing good, Mark? Thank you. Then we have P40F20. When you attach the assembly to the supercharger, make sure it fits all the way on with no gap. Right. Thank you, P40F20. And we have Chris Davies. Dave M, when I click on your video, it wasn't there and even not showing in your channel. It won't be on until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, Chris. It's scheduled. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we have P40F20. Uh, no, we've had that one already. Sure. Uh, yeah, Matt just repeated yeah, we've himself. Had that Probably just making sure I know. Yeah. Thank you, P4TF20. Right, I'm yeah. ready, Dave. Ready, ready for port eight? Yeah. Right, good port C and D from the 3804. Right, so C and D, yeah. The tab on the side of port D fits into a slot in port C. Know the orientation in this view. Yeah. The black, the black on port C and the pipes on port D are downwards. Apply a little super glue to the sides of the top and put together. Okay. Doing this all without magnifying glasses. I see a block. I said black, no block. <laughs> I should be reading this one because I want to find glasses. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. Name. The, as the assembled EFG. Yeah. There's a silver one. If it's on the side of the supercharger, there are two pegs on the supercharger that fit into the sockets in Port F Arrow. Yeah. When you're happy with the fit, apply a little super glue to the pegs and fix together. Insert right shows the parts in place. Right. Right, hold that in place. I'll just quickly put P40's comment back up because I do need to read it. It's a different comment for a different part. When you attach the supercharger to the engine block, also make sure that it fits all the way as well with no gaps. Thank you, P40F20. Okay, I'm happy with that, Dave. 
Okay. Um, the assembly ENB fits on the other side of the supercharger. Two pegs on port A fit into the sockets on the supercharger as indicated by the arrows. When you are happy with the fit, apply the super glue to the pegs, fix together, and third right shows the ports in place. I must say, P4TF20 is a gentleman. He always, you know, if he sees something, he says, and, you know, he's always got fantastic advice. Yeah. You know, I mean, after the last time we were on about a tea towel, the next day I went down and got these mats, um, especially for building on. So, yeah, he's a, he's a fantastic person, great knowledge as well. Yeah, I second that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that now. Yes. Okay, stage 11. The assembly CD fits on the base of the supercharger and a slot created between 802 and 803. Note the orientation. Jesus. Yeah, there's just a little slot in there. Right, okay, I'm just making sure I get this the right way around. The picture is not very clear. It's a bit, you know, the bit that comes sort of. Right. I'm just the focus of what they've got it in. I think it's that way around. Is it that way? Oh. Yeah, I've got it. I figured it out. That sounded like a sewing machine going past your house. Was that our house? That was somebody's house. I think it was, yeah. Always check before you glue. Okay. Well, with the paint on both the facing the wall, you in the glue. When you're happy, try the glue. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Well, cut part G from eight or five, which I believe. I'm just looking. Two very similar. J, did you say? Yep, it's the one with the tab on the side. J, J, J. Right, that one. Okay. No, that this piece has an arm, and you should cut as, in, it, as indicated by the red dot of the line. Fit the arm into the socket on the side of the port 703. When you are happy with the fit, let's put it in C step 13. Right, yeah. Apply a little glue to the arm and fix it. Yeah, it's just a tiny little tab fitted with a thing. Yeah, it's just, um, it wasn't very clear. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Right, so yeah, that tab fits in there. Right, I'm running my tweezers for that one. Right without. Oh, right. Yeah, I've got that. Hold on. Let me just keep that in place. Yeah, okay. Okay, 13. Take the hose 807. Note that this part is quite flexible, but needs to be handled carefully. The square peg on the top, then the hose fits in the recess under. Port G on the other side of Port G. Right. So I'm thinking from that point there. Oh gosh, yeah. The angled end of the hose fits into the socket in a square block on Port C, fitted in step 11. When you're having the big blue one, please. Ooh. I'm getting envisions of root master pipes here. 
Ay. Mm. Right, let's put that bottom bit in first. Just let that add uh, adhese. Okay. Here we go for the second bit. Right. Hold that in place. Okay, nearly done. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, what for you? In the pipe 806, the larger end fits in the hole between the two parts of the on the back of the supercharger 801, 802. Yeah. The pegs on the other end fits into a small hole between parts 801 and 802. When you were happy with the fit, glue in place. Insert right. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. Part 15. Mm -hmm. Put right. each from either five. Did you say H? Yep. We'll check which one that is. I think it's the smaller of the two. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, so... It's actually labelled four on here. Yeah. Right, you don't need your engine block. Yeah, I've got my engine. Identify the pig in the centre of one side, one side of one side of this very small port. Take your seven engine from issue seven and check how port each fits in the block. The back right hand side of the engine block. Right, I'm thinking it's this, these two holes here. Yeah, I think that's that's the only part of the block are the two holes. Then two holes there? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. So this goes in the This fits under the back right hand side of the engine block. Right. Back right hand side, yeah, okay. Well, to me, that's more enough piece and sort of um, more on the sort of out here on the inner side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If you're looking at the engine, that's sort of more on the inner side towards where we're uh, choosing. On that side, Adrian, on the inner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's always, it's always good when somebody's had a go before you. Yeah. Will you look at the image if you can look have a look where the arrow is? Yeah. These 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 instructions are well winded just to fit a port into your hole. Sixteen, God away. Just conscious that's a bit loose. I'm just gonna bob a bit more uh, tiny bit more blue on it. Just so I'm sure. Because the last thing you want to be doing is losing parts like this. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> right, that's in place. Oh. Right. Not 16. Yeah. Note that the that the part key has a bolt, so do not separate it when cutting from the 
experience. Into yeah. When finished, the board points upwards. Identify the pig and pitch port K next to port H. Yeah, I've when got it. When the fit, apply super glue to the pegs to each of the ports, each and here and fix them fit. So that little board goes over. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna hold that in place a second. Well, guess what? That's you finished. Oh, oh. completed work. Further details, fabric knowledge, put a supercharger, <laughs> and the building block. Right. So I can do this on this one. So I'll show you what we've built, everybody. Close up camera. So that's the supercharger we've built. Wow. With all its detail. Okay. And then this is the engine with them two parts on. Wow. Ah, right. Okay. Well, yeah. I can I absolutely say this. Like I thought, the second one was the hardest one. Yeah. Uh, issue eight. And definitely when we do the Spitfire show in a fortnight's time, nine is just going to be on its own because I know that is a nightmare. Yeah. But I'm really, I'm really impressed with that. I'm really chuffed. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think it would be a strong try to do nine and ten together. Yeah. Ten's just as hard. Ten's just got just as much force. Small parts to bend over. Yeah. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm just going to mute and then change cameras. So give me. A okay. Minute. Okay. Okay. So you could bring the chat up then, Julie. Yep. So we have Chris Davies first. And this is to you, Dave Mill. Oh, I wasn't sure. I will watch it. Cheers, Chris. And then P40, uh, P40 was just pointing out that it wasn't a repeat, so I won't show that, that message. Um, and this one, if the parts are not tightly to get tight, tightly together, you will have trouble later when the engine is installed in the nose. So, uh, Chris Davies, somebody having a race, laugh out loud. Yes, they do, Chris, around here. There's uh, somebody that races around on a motorbike. Um, then we have P40 of 20. It would actually to be, be, be better to install these parts after the engine is installed. They tend to get knocked off easily. Right. Yeah. Now, Chris Davies, awesome work. Yeah, I agree. Then we have. And I think Warren means model. Warren. <laughs> How is everyone model getting on? Ah, I see. Right. Yeah, I see. And then the last. <laughs> and then the last one, Chris Davies. People do it too down here. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Tearing around on motorbikes, Chris. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Oh, worked up a sweat doing that one. <laughs> and that's chat. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Our them, ones also. <laughs> them, them cloths are brilliant. They really are. So I'm glad I invested in them. For 69p, you can't go wrong. No, you can't go wrong. <clears throat> Excellent job. I've done all day show nine, but I've gone all up to port 12 up to which I've got um, paint with us doing paint, with us doing paint and then we're going to be modding the engine. I'm just waiting for the repaints to, the repaints to come. Yeah. Haven't you modded some of the engines so far, Dave? No. 
Uh, no, because we paint some of them. What I've done is I've painted the frames. Can you show that? I painted my frames to the uh, the green. Can you show uh, that to everybody? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you can see, I've painted all this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <gasps> wow. And a couple of the ports that are going to be fitting on with a couple of the mounts, side mounts. So, Brilliant. Yeah. But um, the engine is just sort of on hold because they're uh, giving up a girl on the engine. The engine's on hold because all these pipes are going to do bronze. So I wish I had done them before I am. I fitted it together. Um, this part here. Right. I'm painting this silver. Okay. Then by the time you put the black wash on, it'll look, not look silver. Yeah. Fantastic. We need a segment, don't we, in the Spitfire show? Dave Milne's modding. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, Progress yeah. on his engine. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the bronze paint to go off. Send away for us. It said it was. I was hoping it would have been here today. It said it, it, you know, so it'll probably be the morning now. Thank you, Dave. Excellent job. Yeah, and you've got all this to come, Dave. Sir. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. Well, I have received up to issue 18, and we've got a lovely, lovely mug. Yeah. And um, on, on this mug, it's got the squadron badge, and in the center of the squadron badge, it's got a tiger's head. Believe it or not, you see that all right. And it says, yeah. uh, the, the squadron motto is I fear no man, right? Woman of fear. <laughs> and I take it on the port of the 18th of all cockpit ports? Um, yes and no, yes. Um, Which we probably have to be doing a lot more paint. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And yeah. I've heard the oxygen tanks are black. Oh, right. Have they got the oxygen tanks wrong? Well, I would, I would have reckoned them did be silver. Silver, yeah. I would have thought so. So... Yeah. Trouble is, though, wouldn't they being encased? I mean, P40F20 is probably best answering this one for us, but wouldn't they be encased in something? Because if the oxygen tanks got shot at, it would implode the entire fuselage. Yeah. Sat, behind, sat behind the pilot. Yeah. Yeah. So I reckon they the probably might be in Iraq. Yeah. I yeah. think they're probably encased in something because. One, that that would just be the fatal shot of the Spitfire, wouldn't it? You shoot the oxygen tanks, that's it. The, th the whole thing's going down. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the I think one of the bulkheads was um, bulletproof metal. All my yeah. all my plated. Right. The bulkhead was all my plated at the back. Yeah. 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 So they will be able to shoot them from the back. Yeah. Probably be able to shoot them from the front. Yeah. Well, as I say, I'm, I'm sure on the end he would have been silver. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to, well, you'd have to look into it, really, see if there's any pictures of the oxygen tanks in the Spitfire. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> when are you next doing yours, Adrian? My next Spitfire is on Friday. Friday. Oh, Friday. Right. Oh, got the end there. What are you close to putting on with? Part 10, is it? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Bending them little things up. Yeah. All them little boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Certain person <laughs> out there is wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I'll be, painting, I'll be painting mine bronze before I put them. On. Yeah, yeah. Some people have said they've left that the thing that goes on, they go on to off, and then put these things on, and then put that part on, and said it was a lot easier. 
Right. Okay. So I don't know if that's if that's uh, I haven't got that far, so I don't know if that's actually possible. Yeah. Leave that part off and then put the, put them on and then put it. You know, it just might be a bit easier that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so all along black, black plastic coat, and that clips into um, well, that bit I showed you was going to be in silver along the side, yeah, yeah, it clips on there and it clips onto there mm -hmm. as well as goes into the part of the engine at the front. So, remind you of issue 29 of the route master, then with all the all, pipes. And all I can think is how are you going to put that bit on last if it's got a push fit into the engine and it's got to fit on brackets, yeah. And they are pipes are more flexible in the um, ones that were on the pipes on the root monster menu. Are they more flexible? Oh yes. Uh not so bad then. You know, so mm. I don't know. I'm sure we put that part in on issue nine. Um yeah. Wait, um, oh. Sorry, I'm having a throwback to the eighties A team. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Ah, my favourite program. <laughs> Julie, could you just read out that comment from P40F20? Um, I don't know. Wait, it loads up. The oxygen tanks could be either silver or sky grey. Right, there's another one as well. Oh. Yeah. Aft of the cockpit, the inside of the fuselage. Yeah. Silver. Oh, should be silver. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. I knew. Yeah. I knew. I knew. P forty F twenty be able to answer that question. Yeah. 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 Not get over doubt. Right. Yeah. Now, can you see them little bits? Hang on, I'm putting you on full screen, Dave. Mill. There we go. Yeah. Can you see the little bits? Yeah. They're pretty flexible. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, the whole port's pretty flexible. So, and what bit do they fit on, Dave? They're the bits that are going to go on your, in, on your engine blocks, the uh, spark plugs. Right. Spark plug and leads, yeah. So they're all pretty flexible. Yeah, that's the issue I've got to do next. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll get me box closed at the inside of a building. <laughs> <laughs> so has anybody else got anything to say? Uh Wednesday Rootmaster, isn't it? Wednesday, oh. yeah. One yeah, little bit more think, on, yes. One little yeah. bit more advice for um one little bit more advice for Avian for Friday. Yeah. Um, these are in order. So no one no one no one would do the counter the uh, parts list. Yes. Don't take them out and mix them up. I was gonna leave them in there. In order left and right. All right, okay. Jolly good. Fantastic. Yeah, so I think uh Chris Davies is live tomorrow night with the route master. I'm not yeah. sure what issues he's doing. Uh, then Tuesday night there's nothing. Then Wednesday night is the best night of the week, which is Root Master Show. Yeah. Um, which yeah. is yeah. what issue is that? 117. 117. Yeah. And we've got something to show on that, haven't we? Yeah. Something new. Yeah. So uh, Thursday is nothing, and then Friday is uh, building Adrian. Yeah. Yeah, but shall be doing issue 10 on Friday. Jolly so, good. So, yeah, I'll definitely be there with uh, Bill with Adrian on Friday. I'll be definitely there with the Root Master Show because it's my favourite night of the week, is Wednesday. Yeah, night. jolly good. So, one I really, I mean, I know I do this show, but it's just the one I really look forward to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I followed it re religiously and then I had to go on the late shifts on a Wednesday and then so I started missing a lot. Then when lockdown yeah. happened, I've been able to follow it again. Yeah. yeah. But okay. soon I'll be back on late shift. I don't know when, but it's going to happen soon. It's got me. Yeah. It's really up to me, Clyde. It's when he's it's when he's going to be allowed to travel out to the evenings again when his mum allows it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And 
Brighton State has a um, club he goes to, so they wait a lot opens. So it could be September. I don't know. It could yeah. be in a couple of weeks' time. It's up to his mum. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Julia, you want to finish off with the chat and then I think we'll uh, we'll say good night. Yeah, so we've got P30F20. They need to be flexible. Okay. Um, we've got Bexat Lit. Hello, everyone. Hey, Bexat. Uh, we've got Chris Davies. Yes, I am. Issue 70. Right. <laughs> Great show tonight. Thank you. And Robert Mill. Mark, your Spitfire looks good. Oh, thank you, it's Robert. Looking good. Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, if nobody, else got, nobody else got something to say, I'll uh, I'll put you guys on solo layout to say your goodbyes. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for tonight. So I'll put uh, the man who always likes to go first, but he's actually first on my next screen. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining Mark tonight. And didn't she do well? Um, because they are, that is rather a difficult issue. But I do know there is more difficult issues to come. If you are building this Spitfire, please, please take your time with it. It is a lovely, beautiful model and um, it doesn't deserve to be rushed at all. So take your time with it and you're going to end up with a beautiful model at the end of the day. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Good night. Give uh, Mark a nice good thumbs up. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't al already done so. And also take a look in the description. You'll know, see everybody else's channel subscribe <laughs> so good night everybody and next we have Bill with adrian thank you dave for seeing all that and well next week tonight will be me doing the tank by the way ah. and of course if you come a, a fortnight tonight it'll be Mark here doing the um spitfire yeah okay Next we have you, dear Yorkshire Crafter. <laughs> Thank you. I, d I don't know what to say. Everybody said everything really, but give Mark a nice big thumbs up for tonight and great build, dear. Thank you. And last but not least, Dave Mill. Yeah, thanks for having us on, Mark. And um, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, look on the hobby show, on the Woodworth show. My first video is coming out. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so back to me. So I just like to thank everybody for coming in tonight, chatting and everything. Uh, I'd like to thank my co-hosts, uh, Dave Say for the instructions, Dave Milne for the instructions, Adrian who does all the little bits behind the scenes, and Julie, aka Yorkshire Crafter, for uh, doing the chat tonight. Uh, Julie's not a part work modeler. Julie does a lot of... Uh, diamond paintings and crafts but in the description like we said there's everybody's channel in there so just go check it out see what you think uh julie does a lot of diamond painting and is on a one woman mission to get everybody diamond painting that she's ever met um so yeah <laughs> she's getting there yeah me and dave say are holding strong <laughs> yeah. so yeah check out julie's channel so, uh, but yeah, check out everybody else's channel as well. Uh, also, I have social media now for my channel. So if you go to the about section in my channel, you'll be able to see the Facebook page and Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. So I'd like to thank everybody uh, for watching tonight. Massive thumbs up to everybody. God bless Vera uh, Lynn, who um, kept the troops going. Um, her songs, I think, will go down as one of the most iconic songs from Britain. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, let's uh, let's keep up the good work. So bye for now, guys. And bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.